Christine O'Donnell's surprise win in Delaware very likely would not have happened but for the endorsement of my next guest. We welcome back to the program former vice presidential candidate and Alaska governor Sarah Palin and also with a Republican Senate candidate from Kentucky, Dr. Rand Paul, who also benefited from Governor Palin's backing. The, the, as I say, inaction is not an option. We have got to shore up our economy. This is crisis moment for America. Really, the rest of the world also looking to see what the impacts will be if America were to choose not to shore up what has happened on Wall Street because of the, the ultimate adverse effects on Main Street and then how that affects this globalization that we're a part of in our world. So the rest of the world really is looking at John McCain, the leadership that he's going to provide through this, and if those provisions in the proposal can be implemented and make this proposal better, make it make more sense to taxpayers, then again, John McCain is going to prove his leadership. But ultimately, what the bailout does is help those who are concerned about the health care reform that is needed to help shore up our economy, um, help the, oh, it's got to be all about job creation, too, shoring up our economy and, and putting it back on the right track. So health care reform and reducing taxes and reining in spending has got to accompany tax reductions and tax relief for Americans. And trade, we have, we've got to see trade as opportunity, not as a, a competitive, um, scary thing, but one in five jobs being created uh, in the trade sector today. We, we, we've got to look at that as more opportunity. All those things under the umbrella of job creation, this bailout is a part of that. You are also sitting next to one of the best recruiters that the Republicans have had, certainly conservative, libertarian, and traditionalist Republicans. Say he played, and I, I got this from Buchanan reading one of his columns the other day, say he played the war card. Say he decided to declare war on Iran or decided to really come out and do whatever he could to um, support Israel, which I would like him to do. But that changes the dynamics and what we can assume is going to happen between now and three years. Because I think if the election were today, I do not think Obama would be reelected. But three years from now, things could change if, if um, on the national security you, front. But you're not suggesting that he would cynically play the war card. I'm not or suggesting that. I'm saying if he did, things would dramatically change if he decided um, to tough it up and do all that he can to secure our nation and our allies. I think people would um, perhaps shift their thinking a little bit and decide, well, maybe he's tougher than we think he's, than he is today, and there wouldn't be as much passion to make sure that he doesn't serve another four years. But She was a very key endorsement for Paul during the primary, and he said exclusively to us, way free tonight, that it's an endorsement he's glad to have. What happens so often in politics is we evolve towards the blandest of candidates, but the one thing you can say about Sarah Palin, there's nothing bland about it. I told Congress, thanks, but no thanks for that bridge to nowhere up in Alaska. But it's now pretty clearly documented. You supported that bridge before you opposed it. You were wearing a t-shirt in the 2006 campaign, showed your support for the for the bridge to nowhere. You I was wearing a t-shirt with the zip code of the community that was asking right. for that bridge. But you were for it before you were against it. You were solidly for it for quite some period of I time was, until I was Congress for pulled the plug. infrastructure being built in the state. But you turned against it after Congress had basically pulled the plug on it and after it became a national embarrassment to the state of Alaska. So do you want to revise and extend your remarks? It on has always been an embarrassment. It's been an embarrassment, not just Alaska's projects, but McCain gives example after example after example. We're never going to spend $3 million again to study the DNA of bears in Montana. Governor this year requested $3.2 million for researching the genetics of harbor seals, money to study the mating habits of crabs, isn't that the, exactly the kind of thing that John McCain is objecting to? Those requests through our research divisions and our wildlife departments and our universities did come through that system, but wanting it to be in the light of day, not behind closed doors with lobbyists making deals with Congress. When you were a mayor of Wasilla, you hired a very prominent lobbyist to get Wasilla money. We did. We paid $30,000 for a lobbyist who was in D.C. because we're thousands and thousands of miles away from D.C. What she really has that people like is this sort of sense of likability. You know, you just meet her and you like her. Explain to me why that 
enhances your foreign policy credentials? Well, it certainly does. As Putin rears his head and, and uh, comes into the airspace of the United States of America, where, where do they go? It, it's Alaska. The governor, Sarah Palin, and also with a Republican Senate candidate from Kentucky, Dr. Rand Paul, who also benefited from Governor Palin's backing. Do you agree with the Bush doctrine? In what respect, Charlie? The Bush, well, what, do you, what do you interpret it to be? His worldview. You are also sitting next to one of the best recruiters that the Republicans have had, certainly conservative, libertarian, and traditionalist Republicans. Newspapers and magazines, did you regularly read before you were tapped for this to stay informed and to understand the I've world? I read most of them, again, with a great appreciation for the press, for the media. But like what coming, specifically? I'm curious that you... Um, all of them, any of them that um, have... have been in front of me over all these years. Um, I, have a a I have a vast variety of sources where we get our news. To what she really has that people like is this sort of sense of likability. You know, you just meet her and you like her.